So, hello everyone, it's James from Dundee Science Centre here. So, last time we talked a little bit about how to tell the difference between a male skull and a female skull. So that's one step towards helping us identify who a person is. Now, another thing you might want to know is how old they were. Using skulls and bones, we can't tell exactly how old they were, so we can't say, for example, that this person was 35 or this person was 40, but we can give a kind of rough estimate as to whether they were older or a younger person. Now, using skulls, there are two main ways we can do this. First of all, we can have a look at the teeth. Okay? So, we all have two sets of teeth. We have our baby teeth and then we have our adult or permanent teeth. So, if you've got a skull and it's still got lots of baby teeth, it's probably a younger person. If it's got all its adult teeth, you're probably thinking an adult, an older person. Likewise, you can have a look at the teeth themselves. If they're quite worn down, that could mean that the person is older, because it just means they've been using their teeth for longer, and it's kind of ground them down a little bit. Another way to try and age the skeleton, or the skull, is to have a look at these lines here. Okay? Now, these look like cracks or injuries, but they're not. They're called cranial sutures. So, when you're younger, you have a kind of soft spot on the top of your head because the bones of your skull haven't fused together yet. And as you get older, these bones fuse together and they leave this nice interlocking pattern like this. Now, if this pattern, if these patterns are really obvious, really easy to see, it could indicate that the person is younger. Okay, so not necessarily a child, young adult, I would say. If they are difficult to see, almost completely gone, we're probably thinking that that is an older person. Okay, now, like with telling the difference between male and female skulls, this isn't 100%, but it can give you a good idea and a good starting point for further investigations.